Hey everybody, how you doing? Thanks for joining me. Today in this video, what we're gonna take a look at is sizing a pull box based off of 12-3036 in the Canadian Electrical Code, specifically the 2018 edition of the Canadian Electrical Code. 12-3036 uh, is where we take a look at pull boxes that contain conductors larger than a number four gauge conductor. Okay, so specifically what we're gonna be looking at for sizing our U-pull junction box is 123036 subrule 2 item C deals with pull boxes that are U pulls and angle pulls. Okay, again, we're just dealing with the U pull in the next video we'll take a look at angle pulls as well how to calculate those. Uh, but if we take a look at item 2C and specifically after the C item I, what we're actually going to be sizing is the diameter, not diameter rather, but the dimension of this wall right here on our pull box. Okay, we want to make sure that um, we have enough distance between the wall that our conduits enter and the opposite wall so that we can observe proper bend radiuses for our conductors and we're not coming in too tight on those. Okay, so if we take a look at 123036 item 2CI, what it tells us is that we're going to take six times the largest trade size diameter and we're going to add the rest of the trade size diameters that are on that same wall. So if we start off, we're going to take a look. I just want to point out our smaller conductors. Those are going to be a number eight gauge. Those are dealt with in another rule, 12, 30, 34. So we're not going to concern ourselves with those. But if we were to size the conduit for those, we would take those number eights with our W90. Table six tells me that we would have a 21 trade size conduit to accommodate those number eights. What we're concerned with is these larger conductors here. So in these larger conductors, we have three of these three aught aug conductors. And if we go to size the conduit again from table six, what we end up with there is a 53 trade size conduit. So my larger conduits are a 53 trade size conduit. That's what we're gonna start with, okay? So if you remember 123036 tells me that we are going to take six times the largest trade size diameter, which in this case is 53 millimeters, which gives us a measurement of 318, okay? Now we're not done there. It tells me also that what I'm gonna do is take the rest of the diameters of those trade size conduits on that same wall. So we have these other conduits here and we're gonna add those right in there. So we have our 221 trade size conduits in there. And then we have our other 53 trade size conduits that our three aughts will do that U-turn and make their way into. So we have to add all those in there together. Okay, we add those up, we should end up with a total size of 413 millimeters. Okay, that right there, that is the dimension of this side of the box. If I observe that, I'm ensuring that I have the proper bend radius of my conductors. Okay, um, if we were using a square box, the minimum dimensions of this box would be 413 millimeters by 413 millimeters, right? We just know that that's the minimum dimension based off of the size of these conduits. Okay, there's one more thing that we need to observe when we're doing this U-pull junction box, and that's the distance that's actually in between my conduits, right? Again, we're not concerned with the 21 trade size conduits because those have smaller than a number four. What we're concerned with is those 53 trade size conduits. We want to make sure that we have enough distance in between them that when my conductors do make that U-bend, again, we have a proper bend radius in there. So what it tells me if I look at 12, 30, 36, if I go 12, 30, 36, sub rule two item C, but now we're looking in II, it tells me that to observe that proper bend radius or to make sure that I have just six times the largest trade size uh, conduit of the, the conduits that contain those conductors, right? So our three aughts start here and end here. I'm gonna make sure that the distance between the inside, the innermost point of those conduits is at least six times the largest trade size. So in that case, we have 53 times six, again, equals that 318 millimeters. I'm gonna make sure that in between these two right here, or rather our outside ones, our 53 trade size, we have at least 318 millimeters between them. Okay, so hopefully that helps. Again, next video what we'll take a look at is an angle pull, uh, and so that'll kind of help us finish off 123036. Thanks for joining me.